Good morning. Good morning. This is Pastor Joseph of House of Praise Church of the Living God. Welcome me, you all that are tuned in today and those that are here at the service. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Today, we celebrate two grand occasions. Today at House of Praise, we celebrate our Communion Sunday as well. Let us give the Lord a hand clap for the blood and the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ himself. Amen. We hope something be said that can encourage you along the way. We want to say a special prayer today for all of those that desire to be here in the house of God, or those that are traveling, for those that are with their families at this time. We pray that you will have a grand occasion on today and remember the Lord Jesus Christ and the sacrifices that he made that we may experience eternal life and joy with God on the other side. Of Amen. The joy. Amen. Without further ado, Sister Joseph is going to come. She's going to render us a, a scripture and a prayer and two selections, and we're going to bring forth the praises to our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, which he so rightfully deserved. Give her a hand clap as she comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God is so good. He's so great, so kind, and I just thank him. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all out to our morning Bible study, our communion Sunday, and our resurrection Sunday. Amen. We are so grateful to be here in the house of God, and we're glad that you came out to worship with us on today, and we take that not for granted. We pray that something will be said that can bless you in your spirit, in your heart, in your soul, and mind, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading is Matthew 5. Verse 3 through 8. Blessed are the pure in spirit, poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are they are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Dear Father, we come this morning to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to live to see another blessed day and another Resurrection Sunday. Oh, yes. And we take that not for granted. Father, we are so happy to be in the house of God today. And we thank you, Lord, that we have a place to come and worship you. And we take that not for granted. Lord, Holy Spirit, come in and abide with us today. Have your way in this service on today, O oh, Heavenly Father. Open up our hearts, our ears, and our minds, and our understanding to receive what you have for us on today. And Lord, we pray for the ones that are here. We pray for the ones that are on their way. And we pray for the ones that wanted to be here, but for some reason or another, they couldn't make it. Bless them in their absences. Holy Spirit, you're welcome into this service. Father, forgive us for all of our sins that we have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. And Father, we thank you for dying on the cross. We thank you for saving us, and we thank you for rising from the dead and giving us another chance, Lord. And we love you for that. Father, I pray for the man of God that you would open up his heart and open up his mind and give us a word from on high that someone may come crying, asking, what must they do to be saved? Bless them, Lord, from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. No weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper. Bless our neighbors, Father. Bless them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. And bless me as well, Lord. Continue to let me be a light, O Heavenly Father, and to this dying world. And Father, I just love you and I thank you. I thank you for food on our table, clothes on our back, and shoes on our feet. I thank you for the air 
activities and our events, Father. And I just love you all today. And I praise you for everything you have done. This is a good day, Lord. It's the day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in you. And I thank you for everything you've done. And this is my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, to God be the glory. Amen. And 
to the house of praise church of the living god for worship you came here to spend time with god before you start your beautiful sunday and yes, you take lord. that not for granted yes lord. we want to thank you yes. for coming today for thank those of you that are watching by way of youtube we want to thank you for taking the opportunity and the time to uh, view our broadcast on today amen we just want to encourage you in the lord so many things are going on in the world today just stay focused and stay encouraged. Amen. Amen. Today is a special day. Come on in, Mother. Today is a special and a beautiful day. Yes. We celebrate two wonderful occasions on today. Amen. We celebrate Resurrection Sunday. Most of you all know it as Easter Sunday. And Amen. we celebrate our Holy Communion. Now, today is a wonderful day. Because yes, we get to celebrate Communion Sunday here at the House of Praise. We have communion every third Sunday. Mm -hmm. There's no particular reason why we have it on third Sunday. Jesus said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Amen. But I'm just happy that both of them fell on the same day. So we celebrate our Communion Sunday, and we also celebrate Resurrection Sunday, and also today is early dismissal. Amen. 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 Come on, go on, clap. You know you want to clap. <laughs> I thank y'all for taking your time out to come. Amen. Don't think we take that lightly because you didn't have to come. Amen. There's a lot of people that are going to go see God today, and that's okay. Amen. Don't talk about them, pray for them. Oh, no Amen. Pray Amen. for them. Yes, sir. Because God loved the wolf and the sheep. Yes. Amen. 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 Because we was wretched undone too. Yes, yes, sir. Before our eyes opened. Yes, sir. We did some things we hope nobody found out about. Amen. But God know about it. Amen. And He allowed you to come around the cross yes. and receive salvation. Yes. That's what yes. Easter is all about. All right. Everybody have done something bad that God is displeased with. Yes. But God will forgive us. Yes. And that's the purpose of Easter. Yes. He rose to give you a second chance. Amen. Right, man. And not a second chance, but a hundred and fifty-five chance because we Amen. blew the second chance Amen. a long time ago. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, we did. What if God treated us like we treat him? Ooh, we tell Amen. God, I, I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm gonna do better. And we don't do better. And what did he do? He still loves us. Yes. And his love for us is unconditional, meaning it don't change. That's Amen. it. Amen. You know, you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. <laughs> Look to your neighbor and say, pray for the preacher. Pray, pray for the preacher. We supposed to be nice to each other no matter who be nice to us. Amen. But Amen. God's love for you never changed. So today we want to celebrate Communion Sunday and Resurrection Sunday. Now, what is communion? Communion, listen at this, is a sacred time of fellowship with God. Where believers remember Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. It should have been you and I on the cross. Jesus didn't do nothing wrong. We did. That's right. But you know what? We weren't worthy enough to die for one another because all have sinned and come short of the glory Amen. of God. Amen. And so Jesus Amen. was the only human being that was born in the flesh that was sinless. Amen. So he became our scapegoat. Mm -hmm. It's a time where believers commemorate the Lord's death through prayer and meditation. Meditation means when you reflect on something. You ought to always not forget about what he went through yes. for you and I. Oh, yes. Amen. They nail, oh, yes. they nail nails in his hand That's and in his feet. Yes, yes, yes. And what no anesthesia given. Amen. You know, we're going to get a two-pool. We tell the doctor, give me all you got, doctor. Amen. 
Right. Amen. Because we don't want to feel no pain. Amen. They put a crown of thorns on his head. And they whooped him. Yes. Amen. They said with a cat of nine tails. Well, wherever it licked that they hit him across his back, it peeled his flesh. Yes. Yes. And the Bible Amen. say, he never said a mummy word. That'd have been me. I said, y'all beating the wrong man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. And even on the cross, all he asked was, was something to drink. Yeah, he said, man. I'm thirsty. And they wouldn't even give him no water. They gave him some vinegar. Amen. You ever try to drink vinegar? I did. Amen. I tried to drink the juice from the deal puke out there. Amen. And it cut my wind off because I drunk too much at a time. They gave a dying man an axe for some water yeah. who was yeah. dying for them Amen. vinegar. Mm -hmm. And we don't we got to pray for one another. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. This is a beautiful thing that he done. Amen. Yes. Amen. And so that's why we celebrate communion. Jesus said, take, eat, for this is my body. The bread is symbolic of his yeah. body. And the juice is symbolic of the blood that he shed for us. And without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sin. He had to shed his blood. He had to die. Death was the only thing was going to please God because God was mad at his creation. Amen. Because everything God made in the beginning, the Bible said was what? Good. Good. But we turn our backs on God. So that's yeah. what communion is all about. <laughs> Reflecting on Jesus' sacrifice. Now, Resurrection Sunday is when he rose on the third day. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said it was going to be betrayed by many and suffer at the hands of sinful men. But on the third day, he's going to rise again. And why did he rise again? So he could defeat death, hell, and the grave. Amen. So he have power over eternal life. And yes. now he can give that eternal life for whoever call upon him yes. Amen. with a sincere heart. Amen. You know, there's a lot of people say, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, because they see that they short on their bill money. Amen. <laughs> but they're not calling on God. See, people oh. call them, but I was, you calling on God because you short this money. Yeah. Amen. That's Amen. not the same kind of calling. Amen. But when you call on God to save you, because you you want to change your life Amen. and you want to be more of a, ple a blessing to God instead of a cursing, then you say, "Lord, save me." Amen. Amen. That kind of call. Amen. 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 I said, "Oh God!" When I came outside and they stole my speaker out of my car, yeah. mm -hmm. I hollered God saying, "Oh Lord, they got me." Amen. Amen. That's not the same kind of calling. Amen. 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 We talking about when you calling on him to save you. So that's why we celebrate yes. Resurrection Sunday. We celebrate and praise God for sending his son to die on the cross to be raised on the third day to give salvation to all those who call on him out of a sincere heart. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. A broken Amen. and a contrite spirit, God will never refuse. When you call out God on Amen. God out of a sincere, pure heart, He'll never refuse you if you really mean it. Amen. But see, that's the catch. God, the only one know if we really mean it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And then repent. Have a change of attitude. A change of attitude first, and then a physical change in our environment. But we've got to first change of what? Mind. And then be baptized Amen. for the forgiveness of sins. And why do I need to be baptized? Because Jesus said you need to be baptized. That's why. He was baptized as Amen. an example. And he didn't need no baptism because he didn't have no sins. Amen. But he did it to show us an example. Mm -hmm. If you can be baptized, be baptized. Amen. Right, right. Because when we lay you under the water, the water is symbolic of the ground, which is the grave. And then we raise you back up. You're supposed to have a new spirit when we raise you back up. Amen. Amen. When we lay you under the water, you're going down as a devilish person. Amen. When we raise you back up, you're supposed to be an angelic person. Amen. Now, that's the purpose of it now. Amen. But if you ain't repent or had a change of mind or heart, then nothing gonna happen. You, Amen. You're just a wet devil now. Amen. Yeah. That's it. That's Amen. all that's gonna happen. And so, for the giving of sin, so we could be fully forgiven and fully pardoned. God gonna forgive you of your past from the day you accept Jesus Christ and be baptized. Everything you've done before that, he washed that away. Mm -hmm. It's Amen. gone. Amen. Amen. There's no more in the book of lies or sin. Amen. And he'll write your name in the Lamb Book of Life. Amen. And then now when we sin, if we sin, we just ask God to forgive us and he automatically forgives us. But he don't just Amen. forgive us because we sin. We got to ask for forgiveness. Amen. Amen. Hebrews say, come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to write your name in the Lamb Book of Life. Now, what is the Lamb Book of Life? 
The Lamb Book of Life is the book that Jesus is going to open up at the end of time to see who he going to get let into heaven because they got saved while they was on earth. Amen. You can't get saved on the other side. You got to get saved before you die. Amen. And if your name not found written in the Lamb Book of Life, he's not going to let you into heaven. Amen. 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 When we accept Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, we are adopted to the family of God and we become joint heirs in the kingdom of God through the work of Christ, what Christ did on the cross. Amen. And that's why we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. Without these things being fulfilled in one's life, the resurrection of Christ would not benefit you. It would be a holiday and a tradition that cannot and will not save your soul. That's all it will be for you. Amen. If you don't take advantage of what Christ already done. What did he say on the cross? It is finished. Yes. So all you got to do now is enjoy. Amen. And come receive of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Freely he receive and freely he give. Amen. So if you, don't, if you don't get your life together before you leave here, if you watch it by YouTube, hmm. then Easter just going to be a holiday and a tradition for you. Amen. Yep. Amen. And you're going to bust hell wide open with your eyes wide open. Amen. 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 So you better enjoy them ribs. The cool <laughs> cup, ice cream, whatever y'all have. Cantaloupe! Because that's all you're going to get out of Easter. It's a full belly and a good feeling and some good music. That's it. If you don't get it right, that's why I got to teach the truth. Amen. Enjoy it, but call on God for the day. Yes. Amen. Yes. He died to save you. He sacrificed for you and for me. Oh, yes. Amen. Benefit from it. Amen. Amen. It's like having a car and it's raining and you just don't want to turn on the windshield wipers. <laughs> they work too. It's raining. Turn them on. The windshield's come with the car to be a benefit for you when it rains. Amen. Amen. He shed his blood so you don't have to go be with the devil when you leave here. You can't stay here forever. Amen. No one no lives one. forever. Amen. It's appointed unto man once to die and then after that the judgment. So some people going to have two funerals. I'm getting Amen. ready to close. Amen. All right, man. Two funerals. Now, the first death that we face is inevitable. You can't avoid the first death. That's an appointment with God. Mm -hmm. But the second death is a choice. Mm -hmm. What is the second death? The lake, the lake of fire. fire. If you don't get saved, if you don't call on God before you leave here, then you're going to have two funerals. The one that's with the appointment with God. And Jesus said, I'm not saying that Jesus said, mm -hmm. whosoever name was not found written in the Lamb Book of Life was cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Amen. Now, it's already bad enough to leave here and leave your loved ones behind and die one time. Amen. But some people going to have two funerals, mm -hmm. as if one wasn't enough. Amen. Amen. And I don't, don't be talking about you're going to see them on the other side. You're going to see them, you're going to see them, but you ain't going to know them. Amen. Not ask you how you knew them in the earth. Amen. We're going to all see one another, but you ain't going to know me as Pastor Joseph. You just gonna know I made it. Amen. And I'm gonna see you in your white robe, and you should yes. see me in my white robe. Amen. Amen. The Bible said they're gonna have a white robe. Amen. Clean white linen. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 And we want to benefit yes, sir. from Amen. what Jesus done for us on this happy Easter on resurrection. Thank you. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.